Well, thanks for your um, your question and uh, and also your video on the issues around uh, freeway noise, particularly from from Eastlink, that's affecting uh, the park and some of the the residents in the area. Uh, the policy that Big Roads has had in place has been in place for well over a decade, and that is that um, they intervene. Uh, to put in place noise attenuation with the sound levels of more than 68 decibels. As a government, what we've done over the last uh, uh, decade or so is spent, I think it's $160 million on noise walls in 25 different locations. Uh, but the locations that are priority locations are those which are established by Vic Roads on the basis of the noise and the policy that they've got in place. Uh, in our recent Victorian Transport Plan, we put aside a further $100 million for noise attenuation and so that'll make some difference at some of the, uh, the noisiest areas across our freeway network. Um, I'm not able to offer you any more than that today. It is a policy matter for big roads. Um, there's obviously always uh, noise that comes from motor vehicles and trucks. Uh, we are also putting in place measures in the heavy vehicle industry to try and reduce the noise that comes from those heavy vehicles. And of course, over time, I think we're going to see um, more cars uh, that are electric or that are uh, hybrid vehicles and will emit far less noise than is the case at the moment. And all of that will improve our environmental amenity. So we are doing our best in this area. I do sympathise for people who are affected by noise, but the policy of Vic Roads has been in place for a very long period of time.